Jeremy Belpois, Caddick Academy, 8th grade student, October 9th. A few weeks ago, I was hunting for parts to finish building my miniature robots. I couldn't find anything around here I could use, so I decided to rummage for scrap in the abandoned factory not far from the academy. I figured that I could find plenty of cool old mechanical stuff left inside there that would be useful. And I wasn't disappointed. It was unbelievable. I stumbled into some sort of complex with an entire computer lab with scanners, and especially this totally intense mainframe. For the moment, I haven't told anyone. It's my little secret. It's the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. And that wasn't all. That night, even though I was scared stiff, I decided to start up the computer. I hope I'm not gonna regret this in a minute. Okay, go. you've got under the hood, my friend. Wow! What's all this? A video game? Who... Who are you? Where, where am I? Huh? Stern? That depends. Who wants to know? Ah, uh, Dilarobia, his brand new roommate. What? I'm new at the Academy, and the principal told me to move in with you. Uh, latch on to me sounds more like it. Relax, I'm totally cool. Trust me, you'll see you won't even know I'm there. I sure hope so. Look, we don't exactly go way back, so just for now, let's take things nice and slow, okay? Okay, nice and slow. Hi there, Ulrich, sweetheart. I've got something very important to tell you. Important like, uh, I lost my mascara or my pink t-shirt ran? No, nothing as serious as that. It's something about you and me, Ulrich. If you want to know more, come by my dorm tonight at 8. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Ulrich, sweetheart, who's the good-looking babe? Sissy, she's the principal's daughter. Guys flip over her, but she's only flipped over me. That's pretty cool. Cool. She's totally brain dead and a leech as well. In that case, it's pretty lame. And the waiter says, I don't have frog's legs, that's just the way I walk. <laughs> you get it? No, but what I am beginning to get is that you're determined not to give me a break. We're gonna have to get to know each other. And you'll see, by the end of the day, you won't be able to do without me. Artificial intelligence? Can you hear me? Yes, but would you mind calling me something else, please? Okay. How do you like the name Maya? Maya? I like that. But what I'd really like is for you to tell me what I'm doing in this virtual universe. That's not so easy. But I've already got a couple of answers. You're part of a virtual environment called Lioko, and you've got to try to get out of there. Look around for a door or something like that. Jeremy? I can't find anything. I... Uh -huh. Jeremy! I... The 
This is weird. You have to see this. I'd love to. Do you think you can give me a visual? I'll try. Huh? Wow! Huh? Maya, there isn't just a forest out there. There's an entire world! I count four sectors. Each one is different. Jeremy, I'm not all alone out here. There are some animals. That's fantastic. This virtual world has an entire ecosystem with virtual living creatures. Can you get closer? Uh, Jeremy, they're attacking me. Uh, run away, Maya. Get back to the tower. Uh, Maya, hurry up. are regenerating. You know what I was thinking? You know your girlfriend there, Sissy? She's not my girlfriend. Cool! So that means she's available. I'm telling you, she's lame. Plus, no offense, but you're not her type. Oh, yeah, I hear that a lot. Uh -huh. Belpois! Uh -huh. Hey, Belpois, uh -huh. you okay? I'll take him to the infirmary. Tell the teacher, okay? Uh-huh. <clears throat> Nothing too serious. Just a minor electrical shock and some superficial burns. You wanted some juice? Well, you got some. Very funny, Stern. But thank you all the same. Don't mention it. I'll come by to check on you tonight after my martial arts class. How are you all? I'm happy to see so many of you here tonight. Kalari Payat, Kogusuku, Jutsu. No, these are not dishes sort of the Golden Dragon Chinese restaurant. <laughs> uh, no offense, uh, Miss Ishiyama. None taken, sir. I'm Japanese. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, these are combat techniques that can save your life, as they did for me when I was a forest ranger in Quebec. Really? What happened? That night, well, I was quietly enjoying a waffle with maple syrup by my campfire when I was attacked by a vicious beaver. Its razor-sharp teeth were going for my jugular, but I was able to save myself thanks to my perfect mastery of the raging hand of Li Fo Chang. <laughs> what? What's so funny about that? Excuse us, sir. Honestly, I think you would have been better off not talking about it. Right. Okay, then. Enough laughing. Let's get into groups of two. Good for a beginner. Yeah! <laughs> Not bad, but you could both use a lot more work. That'll do it for tonight, kids. Bow to each other now and go get some beauty sleep. Well, nice to meet you, too. Huh? What is with this mess? Where did that mutt come from? Uh, that's Kiwi, my dog. He just had a little fit, that's all. You understand. The poor thing's not used to being cooped up. I mean, look at this. My CDs, my clothes, he's trashed everything and, and he... Oh, did you see what he did in my bed? Uh, well, sorry, but I couldn't take him out with everyone around. There are no dogs allowed at Caddick. No kidding. I think the principal's gonna be interested in hearing about this. That's okay, Kiwi. My little diggity dog. Hmm? What's going on? Hey, I've seen that logo before. Hmm? Uh, ah! 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 are kind of aggressive. Maybe you should check their settings. I had nothing to do with it. They just attacked me all of a sudden. He lost me. Do you mind explaining? No, forget it. 
come on, tell me. Maybe I can be of some help. What if you suddenly get attacked by a hairdryer and I'm not around? Ha, huh, very funny. I'm not leaving this room until I know what's up. Okay. What have I got to lose? I'm already in over my head, so I might as well tell you. This is so crazy. First, tell me if you can keep a secret. That tunnel in the gym is a great way to beat curfew. Yeah, and there's another one on the campus as well. Yeah. What's the matter? Scared of heights? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, so that's the mega computer you started up? Uh-huh. It's actually a supercomputer. It's ultra powerful. And while I was examining it, I found out that it runs a virtual universe called Lyoko. You know what, Belpois? This morning's electric shock fried your brain. This thing is just the control center of the factory, that's all. Oh yeah? And what would you call this, huh? A program for spray painting doors? Hello, Jeremy. Who's the girl with the pink hair? That's Maya, a form of artificial intelligence who lives on Lyoko. I don't know what she's there for yet. Don't mess with me. You programmed her, right? No. I woke up the moment that Jeremy restarted the supercomputer. I don't know who I am. My memory has been erased. Maya has to hide in some kind of a tower. As soon as she leaves it, she gets attacked by monsters. You've got to believe me, Stern. This is an incredible discovery. Let's say it is. What if... What if it's just some kind of giant video game? Then it's a very dangerous game. My robots are programmed just to go and fetch a ball. And they just tried to kill me, don't forget. You saw them. What's more, the moment they attacked, a kind of logo appeared on my computer screen. The same one that the monsters had on Lyoko. Better and better. Do you mean then that, that the virtual thing that attacked Maya also wants to kill you? That's what it looks like. You know what? If that's true, Belfort, if it's that dangerous, I think you should shut it down and call the police. Okay. But first I want to help Maya to understand what she's doing on Lyoko. Say what? I really do. And if I'm right, we can materialize her right here on Earth. Oh, that's too much. What makes you think you can? You'll see, Stern. This one is absolutely perfect! Tonight, my dear Ulrich, you're all mine. What's all this? Scanners. I still haven't found the program that can bring Maya back to Earth. But I dug up the one which allows someone to be scanned and sent to Lyoko. In fact, the supercomputer analyzes your molecular structure through these cabins, and then breaks down your atoms before digitalizing them and recreating a digital incarnation in the virtual world. <laughs> in English? You go inside the cabin, you're teleported to the virtual world. Jeremy, these things don't exist yet. There's no way. You still don't want to believe me. I would love to, but virtualization is straight out of science fiction. Why don't we try it out? That way, you can see for yourself. But we're gonna need a guinea pig. A guinea pig? No problem. Well, got a surprise for you, doggy. You're gonna be virtualized. behind all this. No, look, it's not a girl, it's Kiwi, my dog. Huh? <sighs> but why is he taking Kiwi into this factory? Who knows, maybe he wants to use him for some horrible science experiment. You watch too many horror movies. Yeah, you're right, that was pretty dumb. It's probably more like some sort of ritual sacrifice or voodoo thing. <sighs> nice, puppy. don't move. Jeremy, the mutt is in the scanner. OK, 
Okay, let's see how it goes. It's not gonna be a piece of cake. Those things look like coffins. You're right! Maybe it's the tomb of an Egyptian pharaoh, huh? Right. We're all set. I'm starting up the procedure. Kiwi! Are you okay, boy? <laughs> hey! Oh no! You're gonna be mummified! Transfer guinea pig. Scanner, guinea pig. Huh? Uh, wait, that's huh? a weird looking dog. That's no dog. That's Aunt uh, Delarobia. Uh, uh, I don't know how to stop uh, the procedure. here. Where am I? Huh? And why am I dressed up like a giant purple cat? Uh, Adela Robia? Uh, uh, who's calling me? It's me, Jeremy Belpois. Is this a joke or something? Uh, no. <sighs> Sissy? Oh, Auric! Auric, it's okay. Odd is safe and sound on Lyoko. Am I? In a video game? It looks like the set for Babylon Ninja Fighters 3. Actually, I don't really know. It's a virtual world, that much I'm sure of. Cool! Ah! Uh, that's a lot less cool. Uh, there are these giant cockroaches attacking me, is that normal? Yeah. Oh, nothing to worry about then. That's not what I meant. You gotta get out of there. Ulrich, Delarobia's in danger. Oh. And I need time to devirtualize him. I don't know what to do. He needs help. Do you think you can send Sissy and me to Lyoko? Well, yeah. I can always try. What? Send us where, Ulrich? To a virtual world where weird monsters want to massacre you. You wanted to go out with me, now's your chance. No thanks. Uh, I prefer real worlds. I'm not into the other kind. Plus, I couldn't possibly miss cheerleading practice tomorrow morning. See ya, chicken. Jeremy, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm starting the procedure. Transfer, Ulrich. Scanner, Ulrich. Virtualization. Ah, hang in there. Ulrich Stern is on his way to give you a hand. Great, I was starting to get bored here all alone. Whoa. Ouch! Ah. Sword rocks. Hey, that's not fair. How come he gets to be a samurai? That's so much cooler. I have no idea why. Maybe the computer just reads into your own subconscious desires and projects them onto your digital incarnation. I don't dream about giant purple cats. What's more, I'd rather have a weapon like Ulrich. Not these great big useless paws. Hey, watch out. These arrows are pretty cool. I take back what I said. <gasps> wow! Try to hook up with Maya in her tower. Hold on, I'll give you the coordinates. Who's this Maya? And what is that thing? It's it's the mainframe of a supercomputer. Maya, a virtual girl who lives on Lyoko. Oh, you mean there are babes here too? Great! Yes, but I get the impression that Belpois flipped for her. For a virtual chick? Is he nuts? Kinda. Jeremy, are you gonna give us those coordinates or not? Uh, Jeremy, are you asleep or what? Uh, uh, sick of my uh, sex! Uh, sick of you, dumb uh, 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 Huh? Look, I see a tower. It could be that one.
right. Where are we? Where did the forest go? How should I know? But you see the tower over there? Weird how it's not the same color. Hmm. And those creatures. They're kind of weird, too. Uh, it might be a good thing to beat it, don't you think? No, no. Okay. we have. Great, at least we're alive. Uh, alive? Well, if you say so, I think I'm about to throw up. Time. I told you that by the end of the day you wouldn't be able to do without me! Maya? Are you there? Yes. Is everything okay on your side? Well, we're a little shaken up, but it could have been worse. Sleep well? Huh? What's with the hairdo? Lyoko style. It's pretty trendy, huh? Meow. <sighs> you always eat that much? No, I'm not that hungry today, in fact. Has anyone seen Jeremy? He was up all night in his room working on Lyoko after he put the computer back together. Man, that guy's a real Einstein. Who's Einstein? 
Unfortunately, you're not like Otter Ulrich. You can't be devirtualized when you lose all of your life points. Too bad. At least now I know how to change sectors. Yes, and I also found out what the towers are for. They're portals between the real world and the virtual world. And when they're red, it means they're activated. Are you sure? Just about. And they may be the way to materialize you on Earth. Unbelievable, huh? I can't wait to tell the others about it. You want us to go back to Lyoko to get Maya into a red tower? Like I said, I'm sure that's the only way to bring her into the real world. Pretty wild, huh? Pretty dangerous, you mean? We could have all been wiped out for good last night. Odd's right. We're better off shutting down the supercomputer. Too bad for Maya, but still, it's not like she's human. But she's still a sort of intelligent being. She's got emotions like we do. You see, I told you, he's madly in love with the computer program. Come on, guys, be cool. I'm just asking you to go there one last time. We can't even make it past the monsters. We'll probably get ourselves blown away in a heartbeat. If only there were at least three of us, but Sissy's too scared. What? No, I'm not. I really do want to go with you guys to Lyoko, but when cheerleading practice is over... Thanks, Sissy. So here's the scoop. As soon as Maya is materialized into the real world, I give you my word that I'll shut down the supercomputer. Meanwhile, we gotta keep this a secret. Promise. I swear! Ditto! I can't wait to see what I look like on the Oko. Me too! With some luck, I won't be the dumbest looking one in the group. Ulrich, where are you going? Aren't you coming to see my cheerleading routine? No, I got something important to take care of. Huh. Back for another thrashing? Huh? I don't like ending on a bad note. That's good. I like a challenge. You're gonna get one. Sissy was a real babe, but the more I get to know her, the more I realize she's a... Uh, how can I put this tactfully? A uh, turkey? Exactly. A cheerleader cheers so her team won't lose. We've got short skirts and sparkly shoes. We're just so gorgeous. How can you choose? There's no doubt. We've got clout. Winning at Kadek is what it's all about. Kadek! Oh! <gasps> Ouch! <laughs> Revo, well done, on Sorry, sissy. Cheerleading is not about being a boomerang juggling baboon. training for long? Yeah. My parents think it's weird. Not me. By the way, I'm Ulrich. You, you, you're, uh, Yuri, right? <laughs> uh, it's Yumi. Dorks, were you planning on following me around all day? Y yeah. We're your biggest admirers in the whole school. Mm -hmm. We even started a fan club called Friends of Sissy. Oh, and about how many of you are in the club? Well, two of us. Right, then come back and talk to me when there's at least 50 of you. Meanwhile, if you don't stay away from me, my father's gonna find out that you two clowns tried to break into my room. She's even more beautiful when she's angry, isn't she?
couple of days ago, I dug up a brand new program on the supercomputer called Return to the Past, and, and I just figured out how to activate it. Hmm? That's great, Einstein, but could you give me a hand with my electrochemistry report? Hey, Odd, are you planning on calling me Einstein forever? Uh, why not? So what about my report? Well, why don't you say that, that electrochemistry is a science that deals with the relationship between electricity and chemistry. Mm -hmm. Then you say that electrochemistry involves opposing polar systems composed at its two extremes of electrically conductive material. What? You mean all I have to do is say that? Well, no, of course not. You have to give examples. So, sissy, Jim was taking her to the infirmary. What'd she do? Put uh -huh. a muscle in her brain trying to add two plus two? No, man, she got electrocuted. Mm. Mm. Jeremy? Are you there? Answer me. A tie? Okay. Anyway, I gotta go. My friends are gonna start wondering where I am. Same for you. I don't have any friends. Wow! What is that thing? No time to explain. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Quick! You're the one who brought Elizabeth here. What happened? She was in her room and she was attacked by this electricity monster that jumped from a coat hanger. Would you try to be serious, Polyakov? You're the one who's going to get a shock in a moment. It was as if that electrical thing was alive. What is going on? Yeah, Jeremy? Lori? Great. I really need you. Sissy just got electrocuted by some sort of giant... Electric thing? Huh? Yeah. How did you know? Because that same electric thing attacked me in the gymnasium. This is getting more and more dangerous. You and your supercomputer. All the more reason to materialize my ASAP. We have to get to Lyoko and bring her to the Red Tower. If it works, we can shut the computer down tonight. We'll meet you in the sewer. Sorry, Yumi, but I've got to go. Hang on. You seem to know what's going on here. What was this electrical thing that attacked us? And what is this supercomputer you're talking about? Look, I don't have time to explain. Okay. You have time for a third round, then? You're as stubborn as a mule, aren't you? That's right. And since I have no friends, I have lots of time. Aw, oh, come on. I'll explain on the way. Who's that girl? This is Yumi. She was there when I was attacked, and she knows how to fight, so I thought... Okay, okay, later. Right now, we have to get to the factory. Let's go! <sighs>
Who's this Maya? You're going to be meeting her in just a minute. Go straight to the scanner room and get ready for the big plunge. Big plunge? But I don't have a bathing suit. Relax. You won't be needing one. Maya, can you hear me? Maya? Jeremy, I'm... I'm being chased by monsters. Why did you leave the tower before we got there? Are you crazy? I heard some strange pulsations. I wanted to see what they were. Okay, I'm sending you back up. For now, just try and hide somewhere. story of yours is pure science fiction. Uh, yeah, except that it's for real. Hmm. You guys ready? I'm starting up the procedure. Transfer on. Transfer. Warwick. Don't tell me you're scared. <laughs> Wait, I'm coming too. Okay. Transfer Yumi. Scanner Yumi. Scanner odd. Scanner Ulrich. Virtualization. <laughs> Bummer! I'm still a big purple cat! Ouch! Oh. Wow! That Japanese outfit is pretty sharp! It's not fair! I'm the only one who looks like a nitwit on Lyoko! Uh, mind telling me where we are? In a virtual world. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Move it! Maya needs you. She's in danger. Okay, here we go! <laughs> oh, my head. What happened? You'll be fine, my dear. You must have electrocuted yourself with your hair dryer. Electrocu- Oh, no! It wasn't me! It was that super whatchamacallit of Jeremy's at the factory! Where's Ulrich? I don't know, dear. Please, try to stay calm. No! Ulrich is in great danger. So are Odd and Jeremy. There's an electrical monster on the loose. We gotta find him. Calm down. Sure oh. there is. And a giant chemical teddy bear, too. Daddy, I'm not crazy. Jeremy Belpois found this gigantic computer inside the abandoned factory. They use it to go into this oh. other world where these monsters shoot lightning. Sissy, this is ridiculous. We are not going down into the sewers. Fine. You can tell that to the police when you find Belpois and the others burnt to a crisp. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, hey, Odd. I think I've got a good life-size example for your electrochemistry report. Oh, yeah? And what's that? A nice little electric monster. Where are you guys? We're coming up to the tower. Hurry it up, then. Things are about to start jumping over here. Watch it, guys. There are some more monsters coming your way. Great crap! Who's got the charter 
sauce. Sorry, Jeremy, but it didn't work. She didn't materialize. All right, that's enough, Belpois. I order you to shut this thing down now, and then you can explain to me exactly what this is about. I think we ought to alert the authorities right away. Me too, Jim. It's much too dangerous. I told you so, didn't I? You're nothing but a rotten traitor. No more than you are, Ulrich, darling. <laughs> Let's go, Belpois. Kill this thing immediately and follow me. No. What do you think you're doing? I'm launching a new program. With a little luck, it'll work. What kind of program? Return to the path now! Yeah. What happened anyway? What are we doing here? But we were doing this yesterday. You don't think... Einstein, you're a genius. Your return to the past, it works. What's that? What are you talking about? You haven't forgotten about the supercomputer and Lyoko and my big purple cat costume, huh? You know all about Lyoko? But how come? That's weird. It looks like the return in time didn't quite work on him. Come on, we're gonna fill you in. But why would I not remember anything? Maybe because you were the only one who didn't get digitalized on Lyoko. Yes, that could be. Well, tomorrow I'm going to the factory first thing and scan myself. No, Jeremy. We have to shut down the supercomputer and you know it. It's too dangerous. But, Maya... Ailita. When I went into the tower, I... I remembered my name. Ailita. That's even better than Maya. But what about bringing you in? I promised. Give me one more night to work it out, okay? I'll find a way. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll meet up in the computer lab tomorrow morning to see how you're doing. Ulrich! What are you doing there? I've been waiting for you for an hour. I've never been stood up like this before. There's always a first time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm with my friends. I'll make you pay! Did you hear that, huh, Ulrich? I've got a bad feeling about this girl, sissy. I get the idea that she's gonna give us a lot of grief. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
Well, find anything? Yes. Xana. Xana? What's that? A super dangerous program. Like a virus which can control electricity and that activates towers on Lyoko to gain access to your world. So the red tower, the electricity monster, the weird symbol, the monsters on Lyoko, all of that was Xana? Yes. Only I leave it can counter it by deactivating the tower that it uses for attacks in the real world. That's great. And what about materializing Ailita? I could do it, but I need some time. It's dangerous. Xana can attack at any moment. Be reasonable, Jeremy. We'd better just shut this thing down. Listen, now that we know how to neutralize Xana, we just have to get Ailita to the activated tower. Mm -hmm. We can find a way to counter the attacks while Einstein figures out how to bring Ailita back to Earth, right? It's risky, but I think we should. After all, we are Lyoko warriors, aren't we? Yeah! You really think you can do it? They don't call me Einstein for nothing. In a few weeks, I'll have it figured out. Meanwhile, let's not forget about our pact, huh? Hey, relax. We all know how to keep a secret. 